So, I hear Thundercats is getting a reboot. What is this, Cartoon Network's seventh attempt at this same concept? Basically, all we're getting is another reboot that can be interchangeable with the other six. I can't even get upset at this point. All I can say is, seeing you do you. Well, the competition excels with their new shows. Speaking of new, however, Disney has been on the ball as of late. With DuckTales 2017, both the Darkwing Duck and Tailspin reboots couldn't be on a better channel. Now, Disney animated TV shows aren't perfect, even in recent memory. We had Pickle and Peanut in 2015, and I hear Spider-Man 2017 is pretty bad as well. But we've also got shows like Gravity Falls, Star vs. Force of Evil, DuckTales 2017, and the show I'll be reviewing today, Milo Murphy's Law. Milo Murphy's Law is the most recent show I've reviewed, other than Apple and Onion. It is also from the same creators as Phineas and Ferb, and you can see the similarities between both the aesthetics and comedy. However, I feel as though it is different enough to ex distinguish itself as its own show, rather than go off name value like most shows do. There are references, but that's understandable. They aren't distracting because they actually go with the story. The first episode of the show I seen was the fifth episode, The Doctor Zone Files, and I can tell you that isn't really a best place to start. The episode itself is fine, but not as your introduction to the show. I think the best place to start is actually the first episode, believe it or not. Most pilots are varying in quality. You don't exactly get the quality of the show in that episode most of the time. I've seen pilots be really good for an overall not so great show and vice versa. I don't like the MLP pilot episode and I think the Cleveland show's pilot is the best episode of that entire show. Most of the time this is because the show has to introduce itself. Most of the characters do not know each other. It takes time introducing them all where it can feel rushed. Yes, Milo Murphy's Law takes time introducing its characters, sure, but I feel they do it in a way that makes it a normal episode. However, this episode doesn't really do justice for Melissa, who ends up being one of my favorite female characters of all time. She gets more spotlight in my favorite episode of the show, Sunny Side Up. However, my favorite character of the show has to be either Zack or Dakota. I feel as though both of them are pretty well fleshed out. Zack is the normal tween, so to speak, and Dakota is a very good comic relief. I don't feel as though he comes off as annoying. The only character I can say can be annoying is Milo's sister, Sarah. No offense to the vice actor, because she's really talented, she was even on Scrub, but she has a bit of an annoying voice. Less annoying than Kevin, however. I actually like her character, a bit two-dimensional at this point. However, some more fleshing out and she'll be a great character. Anyway, I suppose I should talk about the episode itself. But before I do, I'd like to take some time and appreciate that theme song itself. It sounds really good because it is sung by Weird Al, who is the voice of Milo. Also, there is a villain in the show who is voiced by Christian Slater, so it's like the first match made in heaven since Cyber Chase. The episode starts with Zack and three other kids waiting at the bus stop. When Milo shows up, every other kid backs away, but Zack stays because he is the new kid. You see, the reason why the kids don't want to be around Milo is because he is jinxed with Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Like how in about a minute into the episode, a metal pipe starts chasing them down. What? Melissa then bets with the other kids that Milo and Zack will make it to school on time, despite the pipe. Melissa's plot is the B-plot, as we find out. The bet isn't even for self-gain. Anyway, Milo and Zack end up falling off of a cliff into tar, but they make it away from the pipe. The only problem is that they are extremely off-path, and they need another way to school. Unfortunately, they cannot pass where they would like to because of tar, which ends up turning into fire. 
they go to a place called Coyote Woods, where, of course, they get chased down. Only to fall into a manhole, which takes them into a sewer. And you want to live like those other kids? They took a bus to school today. A bus! Does that seem like more fun to you? Hmm. Once they make it out of the sewer, the pipe comes into play once again, which causes them to float onto the back of a cement truck. They make it to a bridge, only to be attacked by the wolf from earlier. However, Milo's dog saves them, Milo sends it home, and the waterfalls makes them hit a UFO, and the aliens teleport them to school just in time. As you can see, this show is weird, but in a really good way. As I said, this isn't the best episode of the show, but more of an average one. However, I do recommend you start from here. Next time I might be reviewing some crap because I haven't done that in a while. Anyway, thanks for watching.